So today we're going to be talking about two of the most underdog blend modes and that is lighten and darken. We'll not only look into how it works but actually how you can use it to your own advantage with some awesome illustrations and examples and not to mention the effects. We'll have a lot of fun so without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and if you want to download any photo used in the video, make sure to go ahead and download that using the links in the description. Okay, so here I have no photo. This is just for explanation. So in the background, we have 50% gray, just a color fill. Simple, solid color adjustment layer and above it, we have a rectangular strip. Okay, now this is colored in gradient, goes from black to white, as simple as that. Now, if we go ahead and change the blend mode of this one to light and see what happens just the lighter area then the background layer or the underlying layer appears now if we go ahead and change the blend mode to dark and see what happens the darker area than the background or the underlying layer appears here's what's happening the lighten and the darken blend mode just control the areas that are visible and the areas that are not visible depending upon the relative brightness levels i'm sure it didn't make sense let me just explain this means that the lighten and the darken blend mode is dependent on whatever layer is there beneath it. Okay, it's dependent on the brightness level of the underlying layer. Here's a very easy way to understand it. If we go ahead and say it's on lighten, if we go ahead and change it to darken, we are telling the layer that if you can darken, listen to this carefully, if you can darken, appear, if you cannot darken, disappear and that's what it is if the part of the layer is darker than the underlying layer only then appear if the part of the layer which is lighter than the underlying layer then that part of the layer has to disappear similarly happens with lighten if we select the light and blend mode we are saying to the layer that if you can lighten it if you can lighten the underlying layer only then appear if you cannot lighten disappear so this part of the layer if you go ahead and change back to normal this part of the layer darkens the underlying layer it doesn't lighten it so this part of the layer disappears when we choose the blend mode lighten on the other hand this part of the layer can lighten because that's brighter okay so that remains now let me show you fun stuff if we go ahead and create an adjustment layer of say brightness and if we change it say see what happens if we change it less and less of this layer appears, less and less of this rectangular layer appears. And if you go ahead and decrease it, more and more of it appears. You see what's happening? If we go ahead and change the blend mode to say darken, the opposite happens. Okay, not this one, but the blend mode of this one to darken. Let's go ahead and do that. And if we come to the properties of this one and see, the same happens. If we decrease the brightness, the less and less of the layer appears. If we increase the brightness, the more appears. Because when we increase the brightness, we increase the brightness of the background layer. And as we increase the brightness, more and more area of this layer is darker than the underlying layer. Is it making sense? If not, let's understand this once and for all. So here's what's happening. If we go ahead and let's go ahead and turn off this brightness contrast adjustment layer. And if we choose the blend mode, say lighten, any pixel of this layer which is darker than the underlying layer or any layer which is beneath it that pixel will not appear listen to this again any pixel of this layer which is darker than the underlying layer that pixel will disappear similarly if you change the blend mode to darken any pixel of this layer which is brighter than the underlying layer or the or any layer which is underneath it that pixel will disappear which means that this is dependent on the brightness level of the underlying layer right now if we change the brightness levels of the underlying layer using the brightness contrast see if we change it you see the visibility changes because as i said this blend mode, darken and lighten blend mode, is dependent on the brightness level of the underlying layer. Now let me show you something more interesting. Let's go ahead and throw off. Let's delete this rectangular layer. Now if we change the blend mode of brightness contrast adjustment layer to say lighten, 
the only job this adjustment layer will do is lightening it, it it will never darken no matter what you do to the sliders if you go ahead and increase the brightness it does make it brighter but if you try to decrease the brightness it doesn't do anything that's what I said if you choose the lighten blend mode you tell to the layer if you can lighten appear if you cannot lighten disappear that's what it is if you change the blend mode to darken just the opposite happens guess what you can darken it, but as soon as you go over zero, it just doesn't do anything. So too much of theory, let's do some awesome examples. So the first example we'll be looking at, let's go ahead and open that, open recent example number one. I've already saved it for you. Now you might remember this from our previous tutorial on creating a splatter effect. So it's simply, I have created the splatter effect and it's just above this layer, the color pen layer and this is just it. Okay, very simple splatter effect. Now, here as you can see, we are showing the effect, we are showing the painting or the composite being drawn on a black paper, right? And it doesn't make sense to paint with black on black paper, does it? No, it doesn't make sense. It might make sense, but uh, let's not make it make sense in this tutorial. So, as you can see in this, we have a darker areas than the paper, than the material. And to make it realistic, we don't want that. We don't want the darker areas, we just want the pencils or the color pencils or whatever the colors are to just paint the highlights, right? And let the black paper take care of the darkness. So which blend mode would we select to delete the dark areas? Any area that is darker than the black paper? Simple, change it to lighten. Look what happens. Now it really looks as if somebody had just pencil sketched it above this paper. As you can see, the dark areas are being taken care of by the paper. If you go ahead and turn it off, look at the dark area. It's the paper itself. Any area that is darker than the paper disappears. And that kind of makes sense because you don't want to sketch with black on black paper, do you? Anyway, let's move on to the next example. And by the way, if you want to know how to do the splatter effect, I have a tutorial on that. Make sure you go ahead and watch it right here or right here. Okay, so the next example, let's go ahead and import it. File, open recent example number two. And this will do from the start. What do we have in this? We just have this background texture layer. Everything you can download, links in the description. So above it, we have two little kids. Now. We want this to be imprinted on this paper and this time we're going to choose just different because this paper is light, okay? Not so light but this is light and we want just the darker areas to show up and any area which is lighter than this paper, that area needs to disappear. So let's go ahead and simply change the blend mode of this one to darken. And to be on the safer side, let's convert this into a smart object because we're going to be applying a lot of filters and stuff. So right click on it and choose convert to smart object or what you can do, you can go to filter, convert for smart filters. Both do the same thing, click OK. Now there are a couple of adjustments that we need to do to it. As you can see, so much of white area, so much of bright areas has gone. It's kind of looking awkward and we want more areas to appear. So here's what you need to do. Create a levels adjustment layer. Click on this gray white circle icon, OK, and choose levels. Now, we want this levels adjustment layer to just affect this layer, the love baby boys layer, just this one. So here's what you need to do. Click on this button. This creates a what? Clipping mask. And if you do this, this effect will just apply this layer. Now, we want to make the bright areas darker so that we can see more of it. Listen to this carefully. If we make the bright areas darker and our blend mode is darken, we'll see more pixels because more and more pixels will be darker than that of the pixels of the underlying layer, in this case, the paper layer. So we want to make the bright areas darker. So in the levels properties, to make bright areas darker, you need to take this slider from right to left. This slider makes bright areas more brighter. We don't want that. This slider makes dark areas more darker. We might want that later. This ladder makes bright areas darker and this ladder makes dark areas brighter. So let's go ahead and bring it just like this and this looks fine. Wow, this looks good. Now let's go ahead and change the color of this. We, we want it to be monochromatic, this is looking awkward. So to make it monochromatic simple, add a hue saturation adjustment layer. Click on this gray white icon again and hue saturation. Now in this one, check colorize. And this time to make sure you create a clipping mask so that this effect just applies to that layer. So click on this button, creates a clipping mask and increase the saturation just a little bit and change the hue. We want it to be a little yellowish, not greenish, greenish. 
There we go, just like that. Now this looks fine. Okay, now let's make it a little darker. So we'll come back to the levels adjustment layer, click on this button. Here's a tip, if you wanna make changes to the properties of any adjustment layer, just click on the icon specific to that adjustment layer. Okay, so we click this icon and we get the properties right here. Now, let's make it a little darker. There we go, pull this slider. This slider is for making dark areas more darker, just like that. Now it's looking good, but we also need to make dark areas a little brighter. So. Actually, by doing this, we are killing details and we do want that because in impressions, we don't have so much of details in the shadows, do we? So let's go ahead, depending upon whatever effect you're looking for. So this looks good. We go ahead just like that. Man, this looks so awesome. Now you can add some filters to it. Come back to this layer and let's add some filters. Also, you can add some blend if to it. So double click on the right hand side of the layer or right click on it and choose blending options. Two ways to do the same thing. I'll double click on the right hand side of the layer. This opens up the layer styles dialog box and then we can take the slider of the underlying layer from right to left. What is this doing? This is making the bright areas of this layer of the underlying layer invisible from the layer which we have selected. The love baby boy layer. Okay. So if we go ahead and take it to the left, Here's what's happening. The bright areas from this layer is becoming invisible from this layer. But this is kind of harsh. So press and hold the ultra option and click on this. And let's separate the sliders to make it a little smooth, just like that. Now it's looking interesting. Have a look. Wow. Very realistic. Interesting. Click OK if you're satisfied. Now let's add some filters to it. So go ahead, filter, filter gallery. Simple. And I've already added uh, an effect. It's showing the last effect that I added and I added the grain one. So under texture, select the grain and grain type, you can choose anything that you like, clumped, contrasty, okay? So for example, if you want the clumped, let's go ahead and make the intensity a little more, just like that and make increase the contrast just a little bit. There we go, click OK if you're satisfied and have a look at the effect. Now it looks really, really nice. Have a look. If you want a little more contrast, you can go ahead and add an adjustment layer. Any adjustment layer will do, maybe levels. And this is not a clipping mask, okay? And change the blend mode of this adjustment layer too. To increase the contrast, what was the blend mode? Overlay, right? So let's go ahead and change this to overlay. So overlay. That's too much. Maybe try soft light. Soft light is for little contrast. This looks nice. And you might want to dial it down just a little bit. The opacity. Just like that. And now it looks nice. Have a look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. Looks really nice, doesn't it? So that pretty much wraps up the lighten and darken blend mode. Just remember this. If you choose lighten, you tell the layer, if you can lighten, appear. If you cannot lighten, disappear. Similarly, if you choose darken, you tell the layer, if you can darken, appear. If you cannot darken, go away, disappear. And that's pretty much it. Hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.